What's up YouTube? Um, I'm Chris and I'm gonna do a walkthrough of my RX-7 which I might be getting rid of in a few minutes. I got a guy coming to look at it. Uh, I got my heart set on this 240 I found so hopefully the deal goes through. Hopefully I can get my 240 when the motor blows up. I'm planning on doing a 1J swap. So when I got the car the center console was all cracked and corroded all the way down to here. None of the lights worked. Interior was all trashed. So I fabricated up the aluminum plate. Got my switches for accessory that controls this. Fan speed 1, fan speed 2. Inverter that I got down here to, I don't know, charge a laptop, plug in speakers. LED lights because I didn't have any interior lights. And then an extra switch. Fuses so my car doesn't burn down. Um... I did a short throw shifter. That's really nice. I got all the lights working. Looks beautiful. I got the car stripped so there's not really anything in the back. I got blocks so I can get it up on jacks. But Installed seats and harnesses. Harness bar back there. I did a custom exhaust because the exhaust that was on there wasn't all that great this switch controls which side of the exhaust the motor goes to on the passenger side it's a straight flow through and on the driver's side it goes through the muffler just for more fun so I originally traded this car for a Bronco or I traded my Bronco that was running for this that wasn't running and uh, so I got this not running, not knowing anything about rotaries. Come to find out, motor was blown. I had 1500 into the Bronco. So I basically got this for 1500 give or take. Looked all over Southern California for a new motor in junkyards. Only finally found one in uh, L.A. So we went and picked it up, brought it back here. I threw it in. Did new fluids, new radiator, fan. It runs pretty good. Cluster's got 167,000 miles on it, but the motor's only got 62,000, so. I was worried that the seals inside were going to be broken, like uh, no oil pressure or the water seals leaking, or even the apex seals went out, but I was lucky enough to get a good motor, so I'm happy about that. that concludes the walkthrough of my RX-7. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what I can do differently on these videos. 